Alright, we're playing more Mario Maker. I think what I'd like to do now is uh, play some of the story mode, which I haven't done at all yet. I've heard it's really fun. Uh, it teaches you a lot of kind of more hidden mechanics of the game and, and gives you a lot of inspiration for building levels. And, and it's just so cute. The, the aesthetics and stuff. Oh, those are the look great. It wasn't easy, but we finally finished the castle. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Yes. I guess this is rebuilding it from the previous Bowser-related disaster. And now, uh-oh. It's it's the reset rocket. Which is just like a, an entity. Oh! It's the Undie Dog! Dude, I love the Undie Dog. I, I love this thing that from Mario Paint. But it has now become like a full-fledged like character. It's like a real thing. It's not just a menu button. It's an actual dog. And it hit the reset rocket! Three, two, one. That's what it's called. Three, two, three, two, one. That's pretty great. It looks like the exact effect that it has in the Mario Maker level. In the Mario Maker, uh... <clears throat> Maker, that is. You know what I'm talking about? Maker mode. All right. Nice little intro. All right, these depressed toads. What are we gonna do? Well, what do you think we're gonna do? We'll build the castle again. Oh, that undo dog. I wanna jump on it again. I feel like as soon as you finish story mode, it just resets and you can play through it again. Because undog do, un undog do. Undo dog. Uh, we'll just repeatedly break everything. <laughs> we have to rebuild it. This is our entire budget. This is really bad. Hmm. I'll handle it. Just go and collect coins. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Toadette. Yeah, okay. Well, I just thought you might say something different. Let's get other people down here. Nobody yet. We can see a lot of potential. This guy just slept through the whole thing. Good old yellow toad. This looks like something we'll eventually get to go through. Same with this. Kind of sad that Mario can't jump over a four brick height. Come on. Come on. Why can't I do the sideways flip? Why can't I do backwards uh, backflip? What, what is up with this Mario version? Am I really to believe that he's so anemic? Just because he's got a third dimension he's not used to? Alright, whatever. Good. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. From Goomba Lover. Alright. Don't ask too many questions as long as they come with the coin. Okay. This looks like it'll be fun. It's just gonna be a big slope covered in Goombas. Which makes sense as the opening story it's mode level. They're, they're showing off uh, new aspects of the game and slopes are definitely one of the most highly requested ones, one of the ones they're most excited to see. You know, the initial reveal trailer showed off. Um, slopes in like a really, I think, very hilarious way. In a way that like really emphasized you know, you've been waiting. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get sliding soon enough. Stack. I love the focus on stacks in Mario Maker. Ooh, it's a Galoomba. Oh yeah, so my understanding is the Galoomba is based on tomatoes in the equivalent way that Goombas are based on chestnuts. I think. It's here. I'm not sure if collecting other things will help. Oh, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I smell a secret anyways. I want to go back and investigate some more. Yeah, Goombas are based on chestnuts, right? And Goombas are based on tomatoes? Maybe? I think that's fantastic. That's just so fantastic. I know it's something. My secret senses were tingling. And then 
this will get us that 10 coin. So yeah, I don't know if like collecting coins here will transfer them into like my, my account in the overall story. I have a hard time with these sometimes. Oops. It's like I don't... I don't really understand how it works. Like, it's, it checks if you're holding down the jump button. Uh, okay, so hitting the top of the tank just like will give me 10 coins. That makes me think that the 49 coins I collected will will contribute to the, the single pair campaign on top of the 100 coins. Yeah, see? All right, all right. So I got to be on more vigilant about getting coins. All right, so this is the cycle, I guess. This guy gives me jobs. And then she'll let me spend it on different things. Hee 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 hee. Oh, Toadette's so great. I'm so glad I can play as Toadette. Alright, I guess we gotta start with the foundation. Sure. I like that you can play as Toadette in like pretty much every mode. In in uh, story mode it looks like you're just stuck as Mario, but that's that's fine. Make him Mula. Like Mula. Three new jobs. Alright, let's go. Word of advice from old Taskmaster Toad. He's really leaning into this this designation as the Taskmaster. I guess it does sound kind of cool. The same job as many times you want. You get paid for it again, you can find you pick up. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, alright, alright. Uh, let's just do them in order, I guess. <laughs> oh, wireless protocols? Ancient magic? Dr. Gizmo, of course. This guy was called Goomba Lover. Nice. So it's like a little... I, I really want to think about, you know, what's happening canonically, what's happening behind the scenes of all these requests. Because here, it's like this Goomba lover person made a course full of Goombas. They, they occupy a similar role as we, the player. Okay. But this one is more implied that Dr. Gizmo is like encountering those things in the real world. He's not making the levels and finding them. He's just seeing them and studying them, right? Or it's like maybe he's seen them elsewhere and now he's made this level to Big Red, uh, to, uh, to research them further, perhaps? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I know we're gonna have some fun. Again, another original NES Mario track. I was talking with some friends. I was playing multiplayer over at their place, like the simultaneous multiplayer, which might be the most fun I've ever had playing a video game. And I was talking about like how insane would it be to just like send this footage back in time, <laughs> to when you know NES Mario was contemporary. Like they. How incomprehensible it would be. Eh, that's fun! I like how none of these so far have been, like, really life or death obstacles demanding the on-off switch. It's more just, like, uh... Kind of little puzzles that gain you some advantage. Anyways, if we sent this footage back in time, like... Ah, shoot. Okay. Maybe another one will come out. Not that I think lives are probably going to matter too much. It's like, even if they just assumed it was all being just hand-animated, the, the vision, the sort of imagination gotcha, that people would have to have in order to come up with all of the insane things that you see in just like five seconds of this footage. Oh, this is fun. Back up the pipe. Clear this out. And it's different than sending back footage of any other Mario. Like you send back Mario Odyssey or something, it's like too far. Like they they wouldn't understand at all what was happening. But something like this is just like it's it's within the realm of consideration. Like they they clearly know it's a video game. The people of 1985 or whatever. Uh, 
they they know <laughs> like that video games are capable of producing these graphics, these sorts of sounds. They're familiar, of course, with the real Super Mario Bros. Uh, that existed at the time. Okay. Oh, so each time you complete a level, it makes progress, I guess? So all those toads that were sulking over here, I guess they're at work now. It's kind of fun. What's up with you, MD Dog? <laughs> did we go further this way? I don't think we did. We'll keep playing. Ooh. We can't break those yet. I think I know what we'll need for that. Uh, not sure what's going on there. Anyways, it's just in many. Oh! Should have tried that sooner. Uh, in many ways, this is actually like the most mind boggling game to see in the past, I think. Planted all these cute trees in my garden. Would someone let try reaching the goal by climbing trees with up? Oh, I've been weed in the garden a while, but if Prana plants give you other trouble, just stomp them into the dirt. So, this is a nice clue that the way Prana plants uh, behave in 3D World is different. I, I didn't put that together for an embarrassing long embarrassingly long time that you can just jump on Prana's in this, in this version. Also, again, look at this little diegetic difference, where here it's, I made a course, okay? And here they're acting like a garden, that elements of it are out of their control, that there's Prana plants growing and stuff. See what I'm saying? This sort of stuff, I just can't help, I just can't help it. I take such an interest in it. Also, of note, in 3D worlds, you spawn with your hat off. I think that's just to kind of make it more obvious that you're not playing uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what to think of this style when they announced it. I felt like it was graphically so similar to New Super Mario Bros. And uh, just the slight differences in mechanics didn't really seem worth it, but I'm, I'm getting more used to it now. Oh crap. I thought I could maybe grab the tree mid-long jump. As I, as I said, I'm, I'm still getting used to it. Um, but, like, long jumping is really fun. The added kind of personality that a lot of the enemies have, the way they, like, look at you and lunge at you, is really exciting. It just, it has... Do you think I can... Eh, we might as well try. Alright! Alright, they got us. They got us. I, uh... I got got. Alright, so... The lives I got in the last level didn't carry up. I don't think they were converted to money or anything. So I'm not sure if grinding lives is worth it. But grinding money, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Getting paid to just sit on your butt. What could be better? Ah, so that's what we were supposed to have. Cat power. Okay, that makes more sense. Cat power, I think, is quite fun. Um, again, you know, it took me a bit to get used to. It's really fast, though. It's like, I'm... I want to learn, like, what... Uh, the actual speed tiers in this game are. Because, like, charging up to full run kind of takes a while, and I think in a lot of situations it's, like, faster to long jump. And, like, long jumping up to a surface so that you don't get the slowdown period, sort of like in, uh, Mario 64. See there, I think I win. Oh, shoot, no! There was so much more fun to be had as Pat. Actually, I think the power-up might respawn when we leave. Oh, oh, really? Oh, no, we can't get that. Uh -huh. okay. um. No! Where's Cat? Is it this tree? Oh, maybe it was... Also, I keep pressing. No. I keep pressing this because I think it'll stall. I don't think it stalls though. See, going up a hill like that with long jump, I think 
to do. Here, I'll show you how to solve this little puzzler. We put it out manually, and we have access to this. And we're dead. I don't know why I was so confident I could jump back through that little hole. Uh, but I was also not confident that I could wait out the bricks disappearing and then jump back. Wait, what is this? Oh, now that's very fun. Now that's really cool. I wonder if there would be a way... They, they should figure out a way to like implement that into this anyway. So that would be super fun. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Not like this. Not like this. Is this going to be a mushroom now, I think? Oh, no, it's full full cat. Alright. Alright, so what do I do here? I think I just don't bother. Right. <laughs> yeah, the the idea of adding parts to the level as a player is really cool to me. I think there's a lot of potential there. Okay, sweet. Get money. And that moolah. Foundation now complete. Fun, fun. Alright, cool. Do I get to roam around the castle? Or is it just forever in the background? Oh no, it's forever in the background! Out of the way, Red Toad! Oh, okay. Alright. The grout, huh? So I guess I can start something else now? Alright, uh, hmm. Can't afford any of them. I guess we'll go do another job. I feel like if I had been more good about getting money, we could have afforded it with just the jobs we've done. Talk to the chief. Okay. Haha, uh -huh. we can't afford it! So maybe you'll feel a little bad about saying something like that. Today in the desert, expect clear skies all day with a chance of solar flares, an excessive heat warning, and effect from sunrise to sunset, so don't affect this. Don't forget to slather on a thick layer of sunscreen before stepping outdoors. Either that or find a propeller and press R to avoid the brakes. So another mechanic introduced, another uh, game style that we haven't had. You know, they're doling out a lot of stuff kind of simultaneously. I think, uh, I think there's a lot to be learned from these levels. And there's our creepy-looking angry sun. That everyone was so disturbed by when it was announced. Uh, it sure is angry. It doesn't even look that angry in this mode. It's just sort of like perplexed. Alright, look at this. This thing is super good. It makes a cool noise, the angry sun, in this version. Um, oops. I don't know what I thought I was going to do there. Oh, no! 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 What am I doing? Yes! Yes! Alright. Could've gone worse. Didn't go great. Oh. Okay, alright. It's all good. I love how there's like a residual effect on the propeller after you've used it. But for a while it'll uh, it'll still spin additionally. Wait, am I supposed to go all the way up there? No, I think I'm just supposed to go up. No. Right, well, we got the 30 at least. I feel like the level is ending. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right over the top. I did that a few times when we were playing multiplayer. I jumped over the flagpole. It's like so intense. It's just simultaneous multiplayer in this game. I, honestly, one of the most fun things I have ever, ever done in a video game. Alright, let's get something going, I guess. 
Let's start with the main hall. We can afford it. Ooh. Four, four levels to complete. Nice. Still can't go in, of course. It's an unsafe construction zone for sure. Okay. Uh, the mystery of the haunted manor. So again, made a ghost house. Maybe that have been over my head. Kind of sort of trapped in here now. Huh, okay. This is by Agent One, which is very mysterious as well. Unsure what any of this means. Ooh, Super Mario Bro Super Mario World, sorry. Definitely my favorite of the game styles. Just everything about this game is so iconic and beautiful to me. Alright, what are, what are we thinking? One of these doors is just gonna insta kill us, I think. Let's go over this one first. Okay. Big piles of Galoombas. Ah! Dang. Dang! So how many coins do I lose? I had five and then I lost three, is that right? Is it half rounded up? And then of course if I run out of... Um, I don't know why I thought I could grab those. I think I was just thinking about the ghost fight, so I just assumed. Ghost house? Never seen that before. This gives me coins, I think, right? No, it doesn't! Shoot! Well, whatever. It's not a big deal. So now we can go back in the first room and eat that piece switch. To take it out of its little hidey hole. And that'll let us go into the third door. Wow. Oh. Look at this puzzle solver. Look at this genius at work. Okay, two doors up there. Oh, for a second I was just dead. Uh, so this might just reset the room, I'm guessing. Yeah. Ooh! Spooky. Ooh, the glitchy effect too. So let's just go as far as we can. There's no downside. take the wrong path, and now it's locked off. Yes, that appears so. Okay. I'll reset. Spooky thing again. And go up this direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think this is another reset. Let's go up here first. Ah. Uh, oh, I wanted that P-door, but I guess we'll go up the pipe. It's kind of cool because I really am invested in getting... Ah, okay. So we do need to go up the P-door. Oh wait, no, this is different. It's this trick, where you think you're in the same place as before, but it is indeed slightly different. Okay, well that was bad. I feel pretty bad about that. Killing our boy, but we did get one more coin from it. Well, that's crazy that it shows like coin times five in the stars. I feel like there is still a big secret we missed out on. Um, like if we had made it through the P door, I bet there would have been a 50 coin coin or something. We would have gotten big, big money. As I was saying, or as I began to say, and then I, I didn't continue. Um, I feel very invested into looking for coins, you know, because we can progress more in the story because of that. This one is a three difficulty one. We had some coins in an underground room a while back, but I forgot where you buried them. You can find them, you can keep them. What do I care? Coins mean nothing to me anymore from the eccentric millionaire. So this is a conditional one. We gotta grab all 30 coins before we head to the goal. Sounds like fun.
Um, and of course, that means we're getting minimum, or I guess maximum, actually. Look at my instincts. Look at my instincts. Never doubt my instincts. Uh, we're getting 230 coins from this drop, which is uh, not bad, not great. Uh, this feels like I'm wasting it. Uh, okay. Not through here. This is bad. I'm, I didn't get to blow up a single thing. No! I'm just gonna fight these things normally. This is like a real, uh, original Mario Bros. feel. It's got like the scrolling screens, enemies that can scroll horizontally somewhat. Um, the blowing them up from below. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm all about this. This is so cool. It's just Mario Bros. We went all the way sub super on this one. I played quite a lot of uh, original Mario Bros. in the uh, version that was for uh, in, in Super. Whoa, shoot! I wasn't sure what happened when you ran into the the shadow clones. So I guess that's a good one to know. I'll probably uh, deal with her with the star. That's definitely the hardest one we've seen. That was the top one. Let's get it. Let's get her. Uh 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 uh. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah I got it. I think that enemy is really cool too. Pom pom. This one first. Let's see what it is. Gotcha. Can't do this in original Mario. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh I didn't. No. Oh, okay. I should have known. I should have known. I should have observed that mechanic. No. You know, I think that's such a creative assist mode, though. Um, given that, you know, every Nintendo game now, I'm sure, will have assist mode. Eh, let's just do this one. Pom Pom Pom's not that hard. And this way we get to blow up. No! No! I wanna hit all of them! Oh no! The same thing. The exact same thing. It happened to me again. Anyways, given that all Nintendo games are gonna have assist mode now, um, I think uh, the more creatively they can implement them, the better. Slam. Slam. Back here. Gotcha. The more in line with the game they feel. It's all good to me. I don't mind there being assist modes or anything. I, I sure as hell would rather die than just them, but you know, that's just how I am. These guys are interesting. Can they be beat with a stomp? Okay, just not normal. Alright. Alright, let's fight Pom Pom. Hope it goes well. I think we can just get all of the coins before she, like, actually attacks us. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> oh, we already did this one. Uh, we did that one. It's the Goombas one. We just gotta do the Goombas one, I guess. Saw that coming. Really created something here. With this shell going everywhere. <laughs> There's that guy. Hey! The shell did like most of the work for me. It's delegation. That's how you know Mario is the real foreman of this job. 
could have gotten to the top of the flight pole there somehow. Feels like I could have, but I'm not really sure how. Anyways, this, hour, this episode is uh, half an hour long, so... We will challenge the next level in the next one. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying this. I'm sure you're enjoying playing it. Uh, we'll have lots and lots of Mario Maker content to come. So 